Yes, let's look at question number three. Which of the following equations represents a redox reaction? Which of the following equations represents a redox reaction? The answer is D. And we're going to find out why D is the answer to this question. Now, what is a redox reaction? In a redox reaction, what happens in a redox reaction? In a redox reaction, oxidation involves loss of electrons, while reduction is a process involving gain of electrons. So, an oxidizing agent is a substance which accepts electrons. And a reducing agent is one that donates electrons. So if we check out this equation two, if we check out the equation here, we have two H2S plus SO2 to give two HO2 plus three S. Now, we are going to check the oxidation state of sulfur in this or oxidation state of sulfur in this and now check what it becomes here to see whether there is reduction or addition. Now, Sulfur in SO2 has the oxidation state or oxidation number of 4. So that is the oxidation number of sulfur in this. Whereas sulfur in 3S, the sulfur here has the oxidation state or oxidation number of zero. So with this, you can see there is decrease from 4 here to 0 here. Because of that, we can say that there is redox reaction. Once the, there is change in the oxidation number of a particular element, you can say that there is a redox reaction.